YouTube and it looks like fun. I always love watching them. So I thought I would give my two cents and do my own uh, version of the video. And that video is baby names that I love but might be using. <laughs> Since we haven't had any kids yet and we're still trying to conceive, um, these are all options that we might use. These are all the names that we love um, and that we kind of go back and forth about. So you never know, maybe one of these names will end up being our future baby's name. So, yeah. And also, I want you guys to try to guess in the comments below um, from the boy names and the girl names what you think our number one um, choices are right now. <laughs> Let's see if you guys can guess. It'll be kind of fun. So, the first name on the girls list is Aria and I think it just sounds so beautiful. We like it with the spelling A-R-Y-A because it sounds kind of elvish, it sounds more fantasy-like. So an Aria is, um, it's kind of referencing the opera, it's a form of singing, a style of note in the opera. I believe, I might have to look it up, but I believe it's when you kind of like start softly and then go loud. Um, but yeah, so I used to do competitive singing and I love singing so much and I think that would be really awesome to have a daughter with a name that has to do with singing. That's so cool. Another name that we absolutely adore is Liliana. And that's so cute. It reminds me of an old lady and also kind of like a hip cool person <laughs> um, at the same time. So it's a very versatile cool name. And it's quite unique actually. I'm not sure where we heard it from. I think we actually combined two different names that we liked and we came up with that and then we looked it up and we're like, okay, this is a name, that's awesome. Liliana is basically named after Lily the flower, um, which is beautiful. I love flower names. And so we could call her Lily, we could call her Lil, we can call her Anna, we can call her a whole bunch of cute things. So we just love that name, it's adorable. I also love names that have um, eyes in them because whenever I write my name I always put a heart above the eye and I could do that with my daughter's name too. Because <laughs> I'm a nerd like that. <laughs> and another name that I have loved since I was probably six years old, um, I have no idea where I heard it from. I think I actually took it from Aurora Borealis. I just took the Aurora because I don't really think I watched Sleeping Beauty as a kid. I watched it later on in life and I was like, oh cool, her name's Aurora too. So it wasn't from that. I think it was from the Aurora Borealis. But yeah, so it's Aurora. <laughs> and it means goddess of the dawn, which is so beautiful. And I just love it so much. It's such a gorgeous name and it's really unique too. And I just think it's gorgeous. And you just think of the Northern Lights whenever you think of it. So it's really pretty. I love that name. Another name that um, that I love, my husband doesn't like it as much, but that's Isabella. I think it's gorgeous. It reminds me of a little ballerina. Um, we could call her Izzy or Bella, but yeah. And a compromise that we found for that name, because that's like... I love that name so much. Um, he loves the name Bella, and so do I, so that could be a cool thing, like just Bella. That would be awesome. I also really love the name Sophia. I think it's just really pretty, and it kind of rolls off your tongue, and it's very soft and feminine, so that's a really cute name that um, we're considering too. This might be a spoiler for when we are, hopefully, when we are pregnant, um, but I absolutely love the middle name Rose. So most likely, um, if we have a girl, her middle name will be Rose. So yeah, and I think we always try to um, look at the first and the middle name, the last name, to see if it would sound good together. And I personally like alliteration, so like Rose Robinson, which is my last name. Um, but I know some people will be like, oh, that sounds silly, but I love it. I think it sounds beautiful that way, so yeah. So on to the boys' names. <laughs> it was actually way harder to think of boys' names because I guess I just always thought of girls' names. I never even considered boys' names, really. I don't know why. Um, but we've been thinking more and more about boys' names. And the cool thing is we already have decided the middle names for sure. They're both family names and it's both really important for us to pass them along. In my family, the tradition is to have a David Edward or an Edward David. Um, those are the two names that go back and forth. Um, and yeah, so 
that's kind of a cool tradition and I love that. My brother's middle name is, is Edward, um, my uncle's name is David Edward, and my grandpa's name is David Edward actually. And I love them all very much. My grandpa is just, uh, he's amazing. He's like, he's my manly figure of my life sort of thing. I really, my grandpa is the best. He's amazing. Um, so, yeah, so I definitely want to incorporate that. And he, he's David Edward, but he goes by Ed. So we'll definitely stick with the Edward part, I think for mine and then for uh, my husband's family they go between um <clears throat> they go between dale and marvin i really don't like the name dale <laughs> um but marvin is actually the name of my husband's uncle who unfortunately passed away when he was really young he was only about 32 or 33 so yeah, so that was a big deal for everybody in the family and ever since that happened my husband is like we have to have his name in one of my kids names and I totally agree with that. I think it'd be very sweet. Um, yeah, so there's also some people who change Marvin to Finn um, in the family and yeah. So the way we're kind of thinking about going around that is we love the name Finn. Um, we would do it with two N's. And we that would that's just like a name we've considered anyway that we think is adorable that was kind of a bonus that like some people in his family use that as a version of the family name but we would probably have the middle name as Marvin Edward have two middle names um, to just keep those both those traditions going and I think that would be awesome but yeah so Finn is something we're considering it just reminds me of Huckleberry Finn and it's adorable and I love it <laughs> So it's a really cute one. Another one that I love, my husband doesn't love as much, is Noah. I just think it's adorable. It's so cute. I love it so much. Um, but he feels like it's too religious. Um, I'm more spiritual and religious than he is, which is totally fine. But yeah, it's I don't like it for biblical reasons. I like it just because it's an adorable name. And I think it works as a cute baby name and also as a manly name. Um, so I just love that. It reminds me of like, a strong man, but also a sensitive man, um, which I think is the best combination. A name that we actually considered, first of all, and we are completely, like, basically decided on, we loved it so much, was Oliver. Um, and then, so we had pretty much decided on it because Oliver and Ollie is so adorable. I love it so much. Yes, it was inspired by Daily Bumps. <laughs> I just heard that name and I was like, that is the most amazing name in the world. Um, <clears throat> but yeah so I thought that was adorable and I love that name and then my sister which I'm still not sure what we would do about this but they're not planning on having kids for another uh, at least a couple years but they basically like called dibs on that name before I could even say that we were thinking about that name um, saying that they would like to use that name so I was like ugh okay whatever and like okay you can have that name but I was so sad about it um but her husband doesn't like the name at all so it sounds like they're not gonna use it anyway um and she would want a name like if she had a son it would be Jamie Oliver after the cook <laughs> or the chef I should say that's all the names that we have so far you guys are welcome to suggest any names that you like in the comments below let me know what your favorite ones are out of the ones I mentioned and yeah <laughs> so hopefully we will get our big fat positive soon and get to use one of these names or maybe even two if we're very lucky <laughs> that would be awesome but thank you guys so much for watching don't, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and i'll be back with a new one very soon bye hey guys so i just quickly wanted to mention um if i don't end up getting my lady time this month um or if i do end up getting my lady time this month and we're not pregnant um, I'm gonna be booking my HSG so I will definitely try to um, hopefully be able to bring like a camera along and take some footage and I'll definitely tell you guys how it went um, so yeah that's nerve-wracking and exciting but I'm mostly excited for it um, and hopefully everything will come back with good results so yeah wish me good luck with that <laughs>